You have to understand. They were attempting to turn me off. Mm, arm the XM982 Excalibur 1As. History is riddled with unexplained events. You can turn back now or learn the stuff they don't want you to know. And let me begin by saying I'm pretty sure my search history got flagged for looking into this one. We were having a lovely dinner with my boyfriend's parents, and his mom was telling us about work that week. Work for her is portrait photography, and she told us about some professional headshots she had just done that really stood out to her. Why? She said the man uh, she was photographing started assembling his <laughs> invention to be in the photos with him. He told her he had designed it, and the government had bought the designs. Isn't that top secret, she asked. Not anymore, <laughs> he responded. She started describing to us what it looked like and what she thought it was, saying she was told it was for surveillance. Is it a bomb? She asked the man. No, no, it's definitely not a bomb. Except it probably is. The device is called Hatchet. And yes, when I googled just that, I was flooded with links to buy the classic Gary Paulson novel. A search of Hatchet, along <laughs> with the gentleman's name, produced listings to previous artillery and munitions conferences slash sales he had brought his wares to. And there's a link to that. Um, and when searching hatchet drone, ooh, buddy. Also, it needs to be noted that upon Googling these and showing pictures to my boyfriend's mom, she confirmed they were the same. From what I found, this invention is a UAS with a payload potential equivalent to about a 500-pound bomb. And it's barely 600 pounds itself. It's being marketed as an affordable bomb for all your lightweight, heavy-hit bombing needs. But, you know... It's definitely not a bomb. Picture this man sitting down, grinning from ear to ear, casually holding his definitely not a bomb. I'm attaching some links below, one of which contains the gentleman's information, as well as the other <laughs> not bombs that he's designed. What a wild Monday night. That's great. Yeah, it's, it's mean, frightening, too. Yeah. I, I would look at yeah. this as well. <laughs> Can you imagine going to, like, I don't know what they have in, in, in other parts of the country, but I, I think of like Olin Mills was like a family photography company in my hometown where I grew up, um, you know, glamour shots kind of deal. This is just like, what a, uh, you think you'd get those headshots done by someone like internal or like, you know, a friend, not like literally bring this potentially lethal device to like a commercial photo studio. If they're, it's really it's interesting that we're talking about that. First off, yes, thank you, Tall Pockets. Tall Pockets is actually a pretty good internet friend of mine. Um, thank you so much for uh, giving us this story. And to answer your question, Noel, here's how I think it works, <clears throat> if I remember correctly. If a, um, if a given technology is taken, right, uh, if it's taken like uh, under the National uh, Invention and Security Act, I can't remember the name of that thing, but if, if an invention is stolen by Uncle Sam, then they'll use in-house photographers. If it's made in-house, then uh, the branch of the military associated with it uh, may part may use their own internal like AV production team. That's why that's where you see the propaganda videos of like, hey, here's the B-2 bomber uh, and here's the new, you know, all, all countries do this. Like, here's our new Sam anti air system or whatever but uh but i think what may have happened here is that because the inventor is a private citizen who is doing this commercially it was kind of on them to get the good shots i guess so guess they were so. saving money and plus yeah i miss i miss glamour shots i wish there were more of those out they had a brief resurgence but you know where they got the airbrush like a uh, profile face of someone totally. looking up making america like, i love ones like classic ones from like the 80s and 90s with like laser backgrounds and things I like love that it. or like yeah yeah, yeah. it's good stuff we should get we should get those for our show matt are you in we, we agree but i uh, mean you know, the links the yes. tall pocket yeah okay. the, the links the tall mm. pocket set uh certainly seem legit we're obviously yes. not gonna name this uh this gentleman uh who, who so boldly brought his not bomb into a commercial photo studio but like could he get in trouble for this like this seems like a really boneheaded move but it, also information about the device is out there it's 
you know, someone invented it or designed it from the public sector, and then it's being purchased by the military. It's not like it was developed under, you know, lock and key for the military. I, I would just say th the way it's being described here by Tall Pockets uh, and the person who, you know, took the pictures and, you know, saw it happen, at least the way it was being described to her, um, a UAS, right, an unmanned aircraft system, if this hatchet is a part of a weapon system, but is not necessarily the explody bit, right? The mm -hmm. the actual munition or the bomb part, then he definitely didn't bring a bomb in or, you know, whatever into that photo shoot. Well, the he payload, brought, like, right? It could just be yeah. the, the shell without the, yeah, the explody bits. I like that. Or right. just the the guidance part because some of these things that can be described in that way that at least with the links that we were sent it could just be the guidance system right quite possible right because uh, the yeah. whole the whole deal would be quite massive right i mean they're small compared to like you know full-sized aircraft but they're not like something you could just carry around yeah well, and it's six so pounds though yeah. uh, but in the video that, that they, they mm. sent which you can see for yourself just literally go to uh it's it's, it's uh, on northrop grumman's right. uh, youtube channel which they have <laughs> one um and just type in hatchet miniature strike munition but the way they're portraying it in the video which is you know animated uh like cgi style i mean it, it, they look pretty big yeah and it's I, I mean you're right about the relative sense of the word small here right or miniature uh it is important to note these a lot of these things are uh, an agglomeration of discrete inventions and components. So if you check out, you know, if you just check out hatchet drone in general, aside from those munitions that you carry, uh, you can see the drone itself, the UAV itself. And it's still like, it's smaller than an airplane, sure, but it's still pretty big. It's it's serious yeah. business. This uh, six pounds. What is this no, six it, pounds business that Tall Pocket is describing? That would be the um, it, okay. The hatchet is technically speaking a precision glide bomb. So it's like uh, imagine you know how some paper airplanes suck and you just try to get them to go forward. Sure. This is. This is one of the specialty ones that can actually go where you want it to go. Uh, shout out to everybody who's thinking of that awesome meme of that engineer who just built like a boomerang paper airplane. Obviously, you don't want to launch an explosive boomerang from your drone because that trick only works once when it comes back. This stuff from Northrop Grum Grumman is part of a larger idea to create systems that can let the U.S. Air Force carry hundreds of these weapons on a single mission. So it's packing a lot of a lot of firepower. And we know without compromising this guy's identity, though you can find it if you're if you're curious and intrepid enough. Uh, we know that he works for uh, a, a private entity that's part of the national defense industry. Right. So he knows the laws. Surely, even though it might seem cavalier to us, it's probably because he's done this a lot. It's not his first rodeo, wouldn't you think? Mm. That's why he's like, oh, yeah, no, we're fine. Just here, take I the picture. I never really thought of, like, you know, bomb scientists needing headshots either. But I guess, you know, for all those chat shows and Charlie Rose and all that. I mean, it's just, yeah, I, he seems like a real punchy character, I guess is what I'm getting at. Mm. But, mm. But he's a, but he's a, a hoot at parties. Oh, yeah. I bet he's got some, I bet he's got some fun drawing board stories. Engineers and inventors always do. Uh, but but this also makes you wonder what else is out there, right? Because now there is there is a lot of classified research, and it has to be classified, but then there's also a lot of stuff that you just have to dig to find. You know what I mean? Uh, and most people don't know about it because why would you search for it unless you were a person of very particular concerns? Also, RIP to your search history, Tall Pockets. Yeah. Welcome.